okay guys in this video tutorial we will learn about push buttons and how we can use them in our proteus circuits and simulations it is a very basic tutorial so you should have to uh, listen and learn it properly so first of all you can click on p devices parts and select push and buttons and here you can see that here it is mentioned button then active and then SPST push button so what actually it means it means that active means that it shows us it's like a, a moving action and SPST means that it is single pole single throw push button means that no double throws just single uh, pole and single throw so so we have selected it so here you can see that we have selected a push button it can latch uh, latch means it can uh, like uh, when you when you click this red dot it can it can do latching action like uh, uh, this action that is when we just click on the button it is momentary action it is for a moment it is not memorizing state but when you click on this red uh, dot you can say you can say that it is now memorizing or it is latching action so here we will do or we will connect some LEDs LEDs active green green LEDs so So here we will connect three green LEDs with this push button. So also connect the negative side or cathode of these LEDs with that of with that of ground. So here we can say that we have connected three LEDs positive with the uh, positive all are connected with each other and negative they all are connected and grounded as well okay now attach here the button one side now these LEDs are in parallel with each other but with switch they are in series so you can also take one battery okay now is usually LEDs are active on 2.2 volts green LEDs so here you should have to write like 2.2 volt press ok and then you can run it but we can see that these LEDs are like uh, they are very dim so you 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 can select the battery voltages up to 2.5 so now now we can we can say that now leds are uh, running quite well so this is all about your push button you can use it in your simulations or in any circuit which you want to build so hopefully you got the concept the link of the file is given in the description so thanks for watching